Corey with Therms.io. I'm going to go over a tutorial video here covering our custom parking violations and tow notices uh, setup. So we have a mock scenario where an HOA, uh, Homeowners Association, is hiring my security guard and patrol company uh, to provide some services uh, during the evening hours. Uh, this is the HOA here I've got pulled up, Strawberry Fields HOA. Um, they have some community rules that they want us to enforce, our security patrol officers that are working in the evening hours. Um, so the community guidelines are uh, pretty simple. You know, this is a mock scenario, but um, they, all vehicles must be parked in driveways uh, at, at the homes. That's an HOA rule. Uh, rule number two is any vehicle that is parked in the street will receive one warning and then be towed. Uh, and then the uh, third uh, bullet point on this is uh, a vehicle may be parked in the street if it is uh, on an approved vehicles list for the HOA. So in other words, uh, I can't park my car in the street. It has to be parked in the driveway uh, if I live in this HOA. And I can only park a car on the street if I have approval from Strawberry Fields HOA. So what we're going to do here first, let's say this is a new customer or client that we uh, Therms, and we need to set up a new location. So I'm going to come here to locations, uh, and this is as an administrator or a manager in the company. I'm going to select new locations. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, an arbitrary number here for our demo. I'll say HOA 150, and the name is going to be uh, Strawberry Fields HOA, and the address is going to be underneath the contact information here. And we will copy this here so we have some information. And uh, service types, we're going to say that we have uh, mobile patrol inspection. And we'll leave it at that. We want to turn on post orders. Uh, we can have pass downs, maybe some contact information here. Turn on the map, uh, QR codes and sublocations, bolos, dispatch and reports. Um, so uh, we can draw our uh, geofence here on the map. So I'll go ahead and draw the geofence. So that way my patrol officers know uh, what the boundaries are of Strawberry Fields HOA. So uh, I'll go ahead and save that. All right, so now we have our location set up and uh, we see we have Strawberry Fields HOA here. We need to add some post orders before we actually start sending our guys out on patrol at night. So we're gonna come in here to post orders. We'll select add post order. And the title is going to be um, patrol, um, enfor uh, patrol Enforcement. And uh, let me copy the HOA rules here. And we'll go ahead and put some bullet points in here. And this is just a, a naive example here. So we've got the rules. All vehicles must be parked in driveways. Uh, vehicles parked in the street will receive one warning and then be towed. Uh, a vehicle may be parked in the street. Um, if it's on the approved vehicles list for the HOA. Now, I'm going to give a note to my patrol officers that are going to be working um, at nighttime patrol on this property. Um, I'll, I'll come in down here and say note to patrol officers. Um, when a vehicle is encountered on the street, search the record section and review vehicle notes. If no vehicle is found, please create a vehicle and document as needed. So what we're telling our patrol officers here um, when they read the post orders is uh, when you encounter a vehicle on the street, search the records section. So the records section is this area here in Therms. Um, if you haven't seen a tutorial on how records are used, go ahead and uh, pause the video and you can go and take a look at that and come back here. So I'm going to create these post orders. We want to leave this access level one so all of our patrol officers can see it. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll format this a little bit. Uh, community rules. And um, we'll leave it at that. Go ahead and save it. So now before our patrol officers start working at Strawberry Fields HOA, they're going to take a look at the patrol enforcement. They'll see the HOA community rules and they'll see our note that we have left here. Uh, we can attach some files if we needed to, but we'll leave it at that for now. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, we, we want to have a process that Strawberry Fields 
um, HOA managers or management from the community, call our company, which is Northwest Protection Agency. Uh, they've hired us to work there. So they want to give us a call and say, hey, we have a new vehicle that can be added on the list. Okay, so um, we want to make sure that we have a record section. So we'll come in here and let's say we have a vehicle um, that we want to indicate to our patrol officers that it's allowed to be parked on the street in Strawberry Fields HOA. So we have something called flags. So if I see, see here, I've got tow set on this one. This is a, our demo account. I'll remove this tow flag and the flag no longer shows. I can say involved in a crime. I can add it. I can add reported stolen. You can add as many, many flags uh, as you need to. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll remove all the flags. Um, we want to be able to have a custom flag that says um, approved vehicle uh, for street parking or something of that nature. So I'll come in here to records from the menu and I'll select the top right drop down and pick settings. Now you can customize the flags in your account. So I'll hit add record flag and the flag name is going to be approved street parking and can be applied to vehicles. And the flag can be set to expire or auto remove. So I wanna check this box because let's say if the HOA calls us and says, hey, there's a, a new vehicle that can park on the street, uh, it's not indefinite. It's We'll just say it's a 30 day pass. So we want it to expire. So we're gonna come down here, drop this down. We'll say that when we add this flag, approved street parking, it'll automatically expire after one month. Uh, I'll set the color. I'll go ahead and give it this uh, nice blue color and save it. So now we have this new approved street parking flag. Now, so when the HOA calls us, if I pop in here to this vehicle, um, and if I look at that, it looks like, okay, uh, plate number AK, ACK8230. Um, I can set a flag on here and say, all right, this one's approved for street, street parking, and it's going to automatically set to one month from now. And so I go ahead and save that flag. So now anytime uh, somebody looks that up, they'll see approved street parking. And uh, in one month, it'll go away. So if they pull that record up, that, that flag is no longer set there. Okay, so we're almost done setting up uh, this new account that we just got from uh, Strawberry Fields HOA. The next thing that we want to do is be able to um, document the custom uh, parking or tow notice violations in the account. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes of this. Um, so if I go into locations and I create, uh, I'm going to create a new report. Um, for strawberry fields, uh, just for this demonstration, I come in here and I want to be able to select add violation and mark it as a parking violation. So what we're going to do is uh, this doesn't exist in, in therms by default. We don't have a template for this. So you'll create this in your account on your own. Uh, there's a lot of these patrol entries and report entries that are uh, come by default as templates. So for example, a general one, it asks for your permission. Uh, for location, the GPS tag you, the entry will have details and all this other good stuff. What we want is a custom uh, parking or tow notice uh, report entry that says, you know, the name of the vehicle, the license plate number, the reason why it's receiving a, a tow notice um, or parking violation. So we want to create a custom report entry. So we'll go back to reports and we select this drop down and go to config. Now under the report entry section, we're going to come in here and I will create a new form. So we're gonna call this one um, parking violation uh, tow notice, or we'll call this parking violation uh, uh, tow warning. And um, I'll give it an icon and we'll pick a car here. We're gonna mark this as a violation and under design, now we're gonna build the form. And from here, we have two options. We have build form and preview display. So under build form is what we're going to add our fields that the security officer that is entering the information sees. And then preview display is going to be how it comes out in the other end, what you see in the report. So I go to build form. The first thing that you always want to add is a date and time. So I'm going to say date and time of violation. I'll copy this. We'll Uh, you'll uh, some, sometimes you'll have um, a different form label than you have a display label. So the form label is what we're looking at here, and the display label is what shows over here. So if I say 
date and time. If I just erase that, then so the display label looks different on how it comes out in the report versus date and time of violation, which is how it looks in the form. So we want to keep adding fields. We're going to add a text box and we're just going to say reason for violation. And we're going to pose it with a question mark because like I said, the form is what the security officer or patrol officer is going to see. And in the display is what comes out in the report. So we're going to, we'll post this as a statement, reason for violation. And uh, this is a required field, meaning our security officer has to complete this. And we'll give him uh, some hint text here. Um, uh, brief description of violation. And so when the security officer is completing this on their tablet or their phone, they'll see uh, some help text. And uh, we want to add some more fields here. So we will add a, uh, a radio field here. Um, and we're going to say... Uh, we, we, what we want our security officers to do is print this parking violation out. Um, and, and let's say that they have a in vehicle printers. So we want them to print it out and, uh, put a copy under the, under the windshield, wind, windshield wiper on the vehicle. So we're going to say was a copy of this notice left with the vehicle. And it's a, it's posed as a question and we'll say, this is required. Yes, no. And we're going to say um, we'll give we'll give them a third option that just says na so they can say yes it was or no it wasn't um, and then down here we're going to say um, we will copy this now we don't want we don't actually want this to show up in the the printed version of the report or the report entry so this field right here is internal so i'm going to check this box internal display only and what that means is when i when i check this field uh, it gives me a little indicator here, internal only, and this field is not going to show up in the printed version or the, the PDF version that gets sent to the customers in emails. So we're going to continue adding fields here, and we're going to say uh, we want some files. So we, we want to give this a label, and again, this is the form, so we're, we're posing it as a statement or a question to our security officer that, that's completing this form. So I'm going to say um, attach pictures of vehicle in violation and um, we don't need to leave a, a display field here we'll just leave it at that so that's a reminder oh, they always attach photos here now when this is a really important um, field that we want to add this option for link records so we want to add this in here and the reason why is because we want a security officer to be able to look for a record and actually link it so we're going to add that here and it automatically does what it needs to do. Uh, we'll add another field. This will be a final one. And we'll say um, notes and we'll add that to the display. Uh, notes are optional. Um, they can uh, they can be anything like, you know, uh, vehicles missing registration or make contact with property owner or anything like that. All right, so now uh, we can take a look at this, and we have the, we can drag and drop and move these things around if we want to change the order of all this stuff. Um, so you, you have the flexibility to play with this a little bit. So we'll leave it at this here. Uh, the display we can also move this around and and how we want it to look. Um, we're going to leave it here. Uh, I actually will move this to half and this to half, and we'll paste that there just so we have some. Uh, uh, some text in here and we'll say notes and that's the neat thing about the form builders you can type some information here and come over to preview display and you'll see it so reason for violation and um, actually i want to edit the reason for violation i put a colon in there i'm going to remove that just so it matches the rest of the form and then we've got notes down there this is the records field Alrighty. okay everything's looking good i'm going to set the time date and time of violation this is important you always want to have a start time field uh, when you build a form so it knows the reports know how to order this in chronological uh, order throughout the report entries. Everything looks good. We'll save this. Okay, so we have our parking violation tow warning. Um, and I'm going to go to report types. I will go to location. Now, under the location report, we want to say that that report entry type that we just built is allowed to be added to this report. So we're going to select parking violation tow warning here. 
go down and we're going to save this and let's go back to our report that we opened that's in progress for strawberry fields come in here if i select violation i've got this parking violation tow warning and i open it up i can set a time so this is a few minutes ago reason for violation um, give it some text and um, it wasn't left on the vehicle we're going to link the record uh, to this honda some notes and now we can save it there we go everything's working as expected okay so our account is set up we've got everything we need um, so this has been the setup portion of creating the location for the hoa and and setting up the custom report entry and everything that we needed for records um, so i'm going to end the this video tutorial here the next one we're going to go over how your patrol officer is going to be using this in the field um, so carry on in the next video um, and uh, post some comments if you have any questions or anything you think we can improve